Hi everyone, it's time for another weekly or technically in my case bi-weekly makeup basket and um, you may have noticed that I did not really post any videos the last week. The reason for that is that I was sick and I I'm still coughing a lot and I'm sneezing a lot and I just did not feel well so I just did not really have the energy to and you notice I'm already breathing heavy again. I did not have the energy to really sit down and film a video and talk at a, for a longer time and um, ideally my plan would have been to um, film a little bit the last weekend but we were celebrating my grandma's 85th birthday but as I said um, I have my weekly makeup basket for you guys right here and I'm gonna go right into it. So. For starters, I have my Revlon Colorstay Foundation for normal to dry skin in number um, 110 Ivory. This is just a regular Revlon foundation. It does not have a pump, which means for me that frequently I just pour out too much. But it works well even for my co more combination skin. Uh, my T-zone is relatively oily, everything else is more normal. So this works well for me. Then I'm working on my uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer. I'm almost done with that, which is good because it's part of a project pan. So there is that. Oh, and primer. I forgot about that. I'm working on my Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer. This is the original formula. So um, I don't know. They changed it. They now have um, formulas for normal skin, for, for drier skin, and for oily skin. So I can't really tell you which one that would be, it's just the original one. It's a bit older, but it still works perfectly well and I like this a lot. And then the um, last concealer for spot concealing, if I have redness or anything going on, I'm just using my Catrice Camouflage Cream in number 010 Ivory. This is probably my Holy Creel product because this concealer um, a little goes a very long way and you don't need much it does not dry out my skin or anything so this is just perfect my current powder is the uh, mac blot powder pressed in light this is really just a powder product that's um, also in a, a project that i'm working on right now and i'm not using a lot of that for some reason so if you look at it you can barely even see a dent going on here, but I like it. It's okay. However, this is not cruelty free like the majority of the items I'm using at the moment because I'm trying to move them out of my collection. So um, once I'm done with this one, I will probably go back to Catrice, Essence or some other brand that I can easily get that is um, cruelty free and um, maybe even vegan. Then for um, bronzer and blush, I am using for one this guy here. This is the Benefit Powder Wowzer. This has um, a smaller pants of the Benefit Hula Bronzer, the Benefit um, Bella Bamba Blush, and the Be Benefit Coralista Blush. So I'm working on two of these on the Hula Bronzer and Bella Bamba for pro uh, different project pants right now. I'm not really work, working on Coralista at the moment. It is a relatively light blush for me. This is more of a springy, summery blush, so I'm just leaving that out for now. But the other two um, powder products work well for the current weather. Then if I don't feel like using those blushes, I have two more. For one, I have the um, Manhattan Powder Rouge in Golden Brown. This is a very fall and winter appropriate shade. Swatch it right on here. And here you go. This is a very nice shade. I like this a lot. It has a golden sheen to it. It is really brown. But it's a warm tone color. And I think I can get quite a bit of use out of that in this um, season. It's also not cruelty free, but I like the color a lot and I will definitely try to find a dupe for that one eventually. And then I have an e.l.f. blush here. This is the um, blush in Mellow Mob. I really like this a lot. Here you go, pardon me, here you go with the um, blush and this is it right here. So this is more of a cool tone blush, but again I think this 
it goes well with my skin tone despite it being relatively cool toned and um, I like this for fall and winter so I can't wait to use this again now. The reason why I'm getting more into fall and wintery colors um, is that we actually had snow last week and um, probably didn't help with my being sick or anything but it just really got me into the whole ah uh, it's time for those colors again so I'm gonna go with it. Now those were my face products let's go on with um, eye products I think. As a primer, I'm using my MAC Paint Pot in Nubal, and I don't know why I did not put this in the project pan because I have quite a bit of a dip going here. I definitely want to use more of that. Maybe even use this up as soon as possible. That is the goal, of course, because MAC is not cruelty free. But anyway, I'm trying to use this. It's just a um, slightly, um, it's a tad bit darker than my own skin color, but it's still skin colored, and it has a bit of a sheen to it so it is not too matte so yeah I just like the color. Then um, I have uh, two individual shadows. The one is the Max Factor um, Wild Shadow Pot in Burnt Bark. Now this is a nice taupey shade and I like using that actually for one specific purpose. I like using this as an all over shade if I don't have time, if I run out of time because this is a wonderful shade, it has a bit of a sheen and it is just really nice to just slap it on and go. And as my brow bone highlight, I'm using the Alverde Mono Eye Shadow in Warm Vanilla. This is cruelty free and vegan. I like this a lot, there's not much to swatch because really it is only a cream colored shade, it is matte. But this is a wonderful eyeshadow to use as um, as a brow bone highlight if I want a matte highlight and also to maybe erase and blend over um, lights that have gotten too harsh so this is a nice shadow. And then quickly on with the single items I'm working on two pigments still this is the BEC pigment in Gossip I've repeated myself over and over with that one it's a dark teal shade with golden reflex and here you go you can see the reflex and a bit of the teal shade. I'm really working on this. I'm trying to use this up because I don't know about their cruelty free status or their vegan status but all in all I like the color but what really bothers me is that even if I use um, use a wet brush with that it just sits on my lid and it it flakes off eventually so I'm not too much of a fan of this. I don't know if it's because it's getting old but I just want to use it up and be done. And then I have this guy here. This is a MAC pigment, which I got a sample of from a friend. And unfortunately, I don't know what color it is, but it's this nice champagne -y shade. I would almost say it is a uh, MAC tan, but I'm not sure. So, yeah, I would like to use that eventually. I've had this in my um, makeup baskets for quite a while now, and I don't use much of that. So that makes me a bit sad. And um, I'll just use it up. Then on to pardon me, I'm trying to um I have a new background in case you have noticed. It is um one of my many bookcases, but um I was hoping that the lighting here would be better. And um, looking at the um, little screen right here, I'm not sure because I know there's a lot of shadows going on here. I'll have to figure it out, but it's getting darker outside even during the day. So I need to figure out what works best for lighting purposes. That being said, in my C palette I have three shadows. I have Max Tetatone. I have um, this one here, it's a Coastal, Coastal Sense Hot Pot in M24. It's just a dark um, reddish brown. And then my um, BEC pigment, which I pressed myself. This is in um, PYT. Same problem with that as with the um, loose pigment gossip. It just starts flaking off. I really don't know if it's because they're getting old. I've had them for four plus years, I would say. So it really might be that, but um, yeah. It's really a nuisance, honestly, and I might just decide in 2016 that I will throw them out. For the time being, I'm still trying to use them and figure out a way to use them though. 
And then I have um, two smaller eyeshadow palettes. One is this um, trio here. This is from Manhattan and it is in my precious China. We have a silvery shade with um, almost a purple duochrome right here. This one here is a grayish mint shade and this is a plummy shade. I like the sh shades a lot and um, I will definitely get good use out of them. I've used them today for a more natural look, for a more daytime appropriate look along with uh, Max Tetaton. So um, that's possible but I also can darken it up and make it a lot more smoky. So there's that and then I'm uh, still, I haven't used my um, Alverde quad in um, cinnamon nude yet. The reason behind that is that um, with me being sick I just didn't want to experiment in the mornings. I just wanted to quickly run out of the door and not do much. I just wanted to um, look semi awake without too much of an effort. So um, I definitely want to use these again or still. Now these are two baked eyeshadows. This is supposedly a um, an eyebrow powder and this is a cream highlight. I said this before, I like the combination of these products, I like the colors themselves. Not sure if the eyebrow um, powder would not be too dark for me, but I'll figure that out as I go along and when I use it. If it does not work really for that, I will simply use this as an eyeshadow because in essence they're the same. I have all this here. So for starters I have the, oops there, open up. I have this guy here, this is the Manhattan Endless Day eyeshadow pen in on taupe. This is a taupey eyeshadow pencil which um, I hope works as a base as well if I don't want to use Nubile, if I want a bit of a darker base. I can easily use that hopefully. Oops. <clears throat> then I have um, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. This is always in my... Um, in my I don't think that was supposed to happen. Yeah, it was not supposed to happen. I just broke the cap. Okay, <clears throat> we'll see how that goes. Anyway, um, milk. I like this a lot, however, I don't use it often enough, so this is why it's in here. Then I have three eyeliners. This one here is for my waterline. This is the uh, MAC Eye Cool and I Get No Kick. This is part of a Project Pan. This here is the MAC Perclide Intense Eyeliner in Black Line. As you can see, there's not a lot left here. Um, I've been using this pretty much every day and it needs to be sharpened every day also, pretty much at least. So um, there's just a lot of um, waste product I, fe I feel because I need a sharp tip if I want to go into the inner corner of my eye. So there is that. And then... A product I really really like. This is my Trend It Up Contour and Glide Kajal in number 010. This is just a dark black. It is very creamy and it is wonderful for my tight line, which is what I'm using it for. And this is just a there goes the sharpener that's at the end. It's just a twist up liner and I still have quite a bit left honestly. Yeah, there you go. So um I'm using this whenever I want a tie line because it's just this put. For my eyebrows, I'm using these two still. This is my Catrice Eyebrow Stylist in number 020, Date with Ashton. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in Blonde. Then, for um, mascara, lip products, and perfumes. Now, mascaras, oops. Mascara is a bit excessive at the moment and I'm going to explain that as I go along. I have three and um, these two here are um, well known by now I guess. They are the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black and the Max Factor Clump Defy Mascara. I use these in conjunction because this one clumps my lashes, this one hopefully declumps them. The problem is that they have been open for quite a while now and they, um, I've noticed this really this morning when I put on my makeup, they are actually really starting to just flake off my lashes. So I'm going to put those out of the game soon enough. And if I decide to do this within the upcoming two weeks, I decided to put in this one. This is the um, 
I believe L'Oreal. Yeah. L'Oreal Vol Volume Million Lashes Excess Mascara. I have not even opened this yet, so. Let me see. Oh. Yeah. It has a rubber bristle wand. Not too much of a fan of those, but I'll just try this and hopefully um, use this up eventually. <coughs> Four lip products I have, and I'm fairly certain, oh yeah, I'm missing one, definitely. It's um, not with me right now. Um, if I can find footage of it, I'll just insert this if I can't. Um, I'm afraid we'll have to make do. But um, for now, I have these two samples of the Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks. They are Liar right here. And 69 right here. 69 is a brighter red shade, whereas Liar is more of a nudie shade. And then I have um, one more application of um, the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in Rush Left. So this is the one I'm wearing right now. Um, the packaging looks very gross and I cannot transport this easily. And I'm not at um, in, in my uh, living room as you can see obviously. So um, I decided to leave this in the bathroom because I'm pretty sure that it was just gotten dirty. And I like the color a lot. So... Um, um, when I say Rush, Rush is um, relatively similar to Liar right here. It is just a bit more cool tone and a bit more pinky. And um, I like them both a lot. And then the last one, which I keep waving around here, is um, my Buxom Big and Healthy Lipstick in Shanghai. The reason I pulled this out is that I would like to put this in a project pan, which you'll see the um, intro for that soon. Um, I've had this for quite a while. It hasn't gone bad, and it's a very nice color. It is pretty fall appropriate. Let me see if I can... You can see it's a darker berry shade. And I like this a lot, but I have too much left of this one, honestly. Especially considering that it is getting kind of old. So I would like to um, just use this one a bit more. For perfumes, I have um, four samples here, and in case it, they are not enough, which I'm pretty sure they are, but just in case I put in a full size. Um, this is the Hermes um, Un Jardin Sous Le Toit. It is almost gone, and I'm happy about that. So I want to try using this one. Um, then I have um, the Chopard Kashmir sample. This one here is the Yves Saint Laurent um, Black Opium Sample, and the last sample is the Davidoff Cool Water, um, what is it, Sea Rose Sample. And if those aren't yeah. enough, I'm trying to go and use this up. This is the Dita Fontis perfume, it's just the original perfume that she brought out. I've had this for a bit, I don't want it to go bad, so I'm going to try and use this one up. So this was it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys soon. Bye!